My most memorable, memorable moment probably was the last time I put on blue and gold. Uh, we won the national championship uh, my senior year in 08. And, uh, you know, just it was a, the end of a, a great career for me and a great four years with, you know, 10 of my best friends. And, uh, you know, for five of us to come together and, and uh, achieve the ultimate goal, you know, couldn't go out a better way. It was really special for us to win the 100th National Championship. We'd never have gotten that if it weren't for all the other teams that had come before you know, I'm trying us. To, trying to find a way to you know, pump the crowd up, pump my teammates up. We just wanted to play our game and we won basketball and fortunately we did. And We had the number two uh, ranked team in the country coming into the Rose Bowl and, uh, and we were ready for it. It was just immediate excitement because I knew that I got all of it. To win a Pac-12 title, to get to the Sweet 16, do that all in year one, that's the foundation. That is probably my most memorable moment. It was a uh, probably the toughest golf course um, any of us had played in college. And, uh, you know, I was battling a lot of emotions, um, was going to win individually, but what do I, do, what do I have to do? as an individual to keep winning, but also um, help my team win. And so it was, you know, trying to accomplish both. And, uh, you know, I, I almost blew up for the team there on 17. I made, I ended up chipping in for bogey and uh, make par on 18. And we, we uh, win the golf tournament by a shot. Freeman was our, uh, was our assistant coach my junior year. And when he got the head coaching job, he, he called me in and said, you know, what, what do you think I got to have to do? And I said, you know, we've, we have momentum going in the right direction. Let's not change anything. And we both kind of committed to, to uh, continuing the path we were on and, and see what would happen. Um, and obviously it worked out for everyone involved.